Rise and shine, everybody. It's the 12th of January, 2024. I know my voice is still in a deep sleep mode. I got some quality, decent quality sleep in. The problem is I'm going to blame it on the German weather. We don't really have a lot of sunshine, so my body is still trying to figure out if it's the morning or not. The usual stuff again, day four, squat and bench. I'm going to start off with some competition squat tempo squats, uh, three seconds on the eccentric. And then without a pause, I'll just try to stand up explosive. So I'm going to do that with 160 kg, I guess, followed by the competition bench. Uh, it's supposed to be an RP6. Not going to go that heavy. It's the first week. And then a few rather interesting exercises again. 10 paused hip thrusts, three seconds in the contraction, two seconds on top, supersets with three reps of five seconds of hanging l sits. A lot of core workout to do in this block. A bit of back workout, low pulley row, just a tight grip. And the highlight of the day, I'm gonna do max reps, dips, supersets with standing dumbbell row without having the support of the bench. So just a lot of core workout as usual. My coach wrote me a comment of don't puke. I kind of know my coach now. And I think when he says this, he's not lying about stuff. He's not exaggerating. Desire to train is already skyrocketing. I was almost being depressed yesterday that I couldn't hit the gym, but I had a fairly good rest. So today is gonna be a good day. I also got some feedback from my 10 viewers, five viewers that are watching my videos. I might as well talk a bit about my life. And that's kind of what I started in the last video. I got pretty positive feedback. So I'm going to do it again today, but after the videos, if you guys uh, are curious or wondering what I'm going to talk about, you might as well stick on the video. You don't need to. You could also skip, 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 skip till the end. I just appreciate that you guys are watching my video. So yeah, let's hit the gym now. Oof. Smells like home here. All right. That's actually not that bad. It's time to warm myself up. And spice it up a bit. Some warm up sets. And yeah, and I think I kind of learned it the hard way, going directly into my heaviest sets, realizing, oh, I kind of fucked it up. So I'm doing squats and bench today, which means I'm definitely going to warm up my elbows, my wrists, my shoulders, a bit of back, Activation as well. <clears throat> and for the squat, most important thing, crucial thing, just take care of your knees. If your sleeves are worn out, you can buy new sleeves. If your shoes are too old, you can buy new shoes. But if your knees are broken, you're a disabled man. It is actually a blessing that I have my squat in front of my bench, probably because of my knee sleeves. If you're sweating in the winter, it's okay. But in the summer, you're trying to get your sleeves on after doing a few reps of whatever, trying to get into your squats, pulling your sleeves in, it's not gonna work. So Monday I started with squats. Today I'm starting with squats. Not that big of a deal. I just need to pull them up. And a bit of front squats. For ones who are not really familiar with the powerlifting scene, 
the red ones, the red plates, they weigh 25 kilos each, which means 25, 25, 25, 25, counts up to 100. And with the bar together, it's 120 kilos. So, so one more warm up set without the belts, without the sleeves, just me and the bar. I don't really listen to music when I'm training. Usually when I have my AirPods on, it's because I don't want anyone to talk with me. I'm an introvert, as I said. All right, three reps with 160. Gonna count my eccentrics. Three seconds of going down without a pause. Pushing explosive. All right. Nice one. I might as well be a bit stricter with my counts. Three count pauses. And also, I wasn't deep enough, I guess. Dritter Satz, glaube ich. Ja. ja. <lacht> I kind of realized um, that I was bouncing at the bottom again, kind of my old habits kicking in. More tension going down. It's like I imagine myself being a slingshot, charge my energy in my hamstrings, and I'm just gonna let go of the, um, how's it called, the slingshot. <sighs> okay, last set. So, um, nothing really special about the bench. The first set, I did it with 107.5. The second one, probably going a bit lower. I'm gonna do my second set with 100. Three sets of five, competition bench. The main focus of today
I'm kind of losing my grip on my uh, while leg driving. My shoes are actually new, so I don't know what the reason is, but it's also a good indication that I'm using leg drive. I'm trying to focus on my movement downwards again. So yeah, my least favorite angle again. <sighs> now the best part of training is over. I ate up the fruit, now it's time to swallow the seeds. <sighs> so I threw in a couple of warm-up sets and I kind of find out I'm not really familiar with the settings here. So I decided to my set with 120 kg first. There are actually a few people that do hit for us in this gym, so I'll have to ask them about the setting. Oh. <sighs> 
I don't know what to say. Crucial factor of this superset. I, I really don't think the settings were sitting for my body. I had constant back pain because the seat that I was leaning against, it built up constant pressure on my back. I had to go down to 70 kilos on the fourth set. I'm showering and sweating like hell. I feel terrible, but terrific at the same time. And this is what we're trying to concentrate on this week. Okay, let's go on. I'm definitely trying to go more into my stretch when I go forward. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of time at the moment, so I'll do my exercise first and do a recap when I get home. So I'm to roll my wheels again. Wow, that was cringe. I feel like a fucking infant, like a baby who's just learning how to walk. I'm tripping and fading all the time. I'm really sorry if the video is consisting only moaning and whining all the time, but, but I really felt like puking today. But yeah, the day is over. Let's do a small form check and then I'm good to go home. Just take a deep breath. All right, so I was talking in front of the camera for about 15 minutes when I realized that my transmitter was off. So I'm gonna do it again. Short recap. With the squat and the bench, I'm really happy with the results. I think they were, pr I was about to say promising. Now I need to search for a word, synonym of promising. It was encouraging. <laughs> Anyways, they felt decent. Those are the two exercises that I actually enjoyed doing today. And then I went on with my supersets. Internally, I was screaming just so I could kill myself. I mean, they were exhausting, but mainly it was the setting of the hip thrust that didn't really fit my body. And I was suffering so much with back pain. I definitely need to ask the others at the gym how they go on with their settings because it didn't feel, it didn't, it just felt wrong. And then a bit of back workout, 
um, three sets of 12. I think they were also decent. And the last one was another super set, max reps of dips um, combined with a, a, a standing dumbbell row. I'm not gonna talk a lot about it. That, anyways, that's probably it for today. I, I just wanted to appreciate the fact that there are actually people watching my videos and I get a lot of positive comments from my friends, mostly my friends, that they are enjoying my videos. Feel free to ask me about topics. I would love if you guys tell me that you guys want to hear about different opinions, different ways of seeing life. I'm really open. I don't think that I communicate with a lot of people about this, but I had a rather unsatisfying way of ending the last, the previous year. I wasn't feeling that well. I was mentally unstable. And that's kind of the reason why I decided to speak in front of camera, because if you speak out loud, what do you think about what's going on in your head? It helps a lot. Why I decided to talk about motivation at the gym kind of links to the things that I said yesterday. But anyways, I definitely have had my own era at a certain point of my life where I used the anger and depression that I had, things that did not work in life as a motivational factor to push myself a bit harder at the end of my sets. And I'm not gonna lie, this is pushing you and this is something that you could use as another reason. But what I kind of realized is in a permanent way of lifting, this is not really going to affect you in a positive way. I'll say it this way. At some point of your life, you will manage to get happy. You will have worked on with your problems and you're ready to be happy again. But if you combine your training with the depression and the negative thoughts that you have too much, if this is essential to push you, it's going to linger on. It's going to grab on to your current state of being happy and somehow drag you downwards again so that you are feeling unwell. I'm speaking of my own experience. I actually felt unwell of being happy because I needed this motivational factor of me being mad or being depressed about something to prove the others that I could be better. But you know what? If you have it inside you, you have it inside you. I'm just trying to say, try to enjoy the lifting itself. I'm saying the same thing that I did yesterday, but the gym is not a funeral. This shouldn't necessarily be a place where you just unlock your demons inside of you just to make you more pissed about things and it's gonna work but in a permanent way of saying i wouldn't say so reduce the stress that you have in your life instead of actually producing more stress as i said i'm only speaking of my own experience if this is helping you go on with it i'm, I'm not trying to judge you the point of the speech is positivity to be the main factor pushing you through your goals and through your daily routines that you have but not the dark inner soul of yourself making you do things, obliging you to do things because you think this is the only reason why you exist. But it's not. You most probably have a lot of moments in your life where you actually realize that it's good to live. Life is something amazing. All right, I'm exaggerating way too much again, so I'm gonna stop now, but I really appreciate, I'm a simple man. I hit the gym, I come home, I eat something, I go to bed and I'm happy with my life. So I really hope that you could find something like this for you as well. And I really appreciate the fact that you guys are actually watching my videos. And if you guys could throw in a few thoughts into your minds, what you think about life and what you think about the things that I've said, that's basically everything I need. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. So thank you for coming and thank you for staying. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.